How's it going y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Today we are coming at you with something new, a line that I haven't collected before and that's what I'm trying to do instead of getting all Hasbro all the time because like they kind of suck. I'm trying to get as few of theirs as possible and just get stuff that I've been wanting or that I see that I'm like oh that looks really cool and I'm just gonna grab it because why not? Uh, try new things right? So today we have Today we have our loose collectors, Red Sonia. If you're not familiar, she's like a comic book character whose rights have been jumped around. She was in Marvel at some point with Conan the Barbarian, and now she's, I think this is off of Dynamite, or I don't know, IDW. She's She's been in a bunch of different comic book brands, but this is the first figure I have of her, and there's another one coming out by Epic Hacks that I have pre-ordered. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, so she would fit in with like your Mezco Conan if you have one or whatever like there's other Conans out there I don't have any of them but I'm just saying uh, she's a character that's been around for a long time and she does fit in in a bunch of places so with all that being said let's take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad girl open taking a look at the front of the box it says Red Sonia we've got the figure and then we've got some artwork down there at the bottom it's really nice artwork speaking of cool artwork look at this artwork on the side that is super bad ass and it says Red Sonia down there at the bottom as well on the back we get more awesome art and uh, there's a blurb so I'll read that red Sonia outlaw mercenary warrior and queen after escaping her bloody origin she hunted the wilderlands of her her can leave the streets and palaces of Padisha sold her sword on battlefields from Koth to Aquilania and liberated countless mugs of ale from barrels throughout the Hyborian world. Red Sonia slew the king who tried to possess her and freed the world from the dark sorcery of Kulangaith. Forced to flee from her homeland, she rode west across the Turanian steppes and into the shadowed mists of legendary. Um, yeah, it says she features t eight, 26 points of articulation, two fists, two open hands, two grip hands, one battle axe, one broadsword, and two knives. And then it says loose collector and executive replicas. More awesome artwork on this side. We've got the top of the box and the bottom of the box. And with all that being said, let's get this badass chick open. There's just some tape down there at the bottom. And then, of course, the figure comes right out into our plastic. So let's get that situated. As you can see, we've got our loose collector's red Sonia out of the box. And she is really cool. There's a lot of nice paint and details, especially in that face sculpt and the armor. All the leather straps are painted nicely. She does have some shading on her skin. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting right now. It is daytime when I'm filming, so the lighting is a little bit different than usual. But um, she's got some nice gold and silver accents, and uh, you know she's got the brown leather, of course. And then her hair has, uh, you know, some paint in there as well to bring out the um, the sculpt because she's got some massive red hair swirling behind her, and she looks really cool. I really like that head sculpt. Um, I am excited to see how Epic Hacks one comes out as well, because um, that skeleton that they got, I don't know if the video is going to go up at this point, or this is going to go up first, but their Epic Hacks, skele Epic Hacks skeleton is really cool, so it makes me excited for the Red Sonia to see what they can do with an actual full frame figure. Speaking of full frames, um, yeah, that's that's cool. She's, she's really cool. She looks like she does in the comic books, um, and she's a really cool figure. I'm really happy to have her. I've been waiting on her because she's expensive. Checking out the height of our Red Sonia figure, she stands at, I'm trying, I try to get this right, I'm always wrong. She stands at about six and a half inches. So she'll fit right in with any six inch scale stuff. Going over her articulation, starting at the top of the head, we go forward that far, so really far forward, not so much to the back because her hair gets in the way, to the side, to the side. Um, shoulders come up about 90 degrees. She does have single elbows, but those work just fine. Um, she does have a ball peg at her upper torso, which is nice. There is no waist cut, but we get a cut there. Um, her wrists are on pegs. Legs come forward that far to the side that far. Back not far at all because her booty gets in the way. Speaking of booty, she kicks her own butt quite easily because she has double knees. And then we get rockers down at the ankles. So nothing too crazy, but she can definitely pose and get into some fighting stances and, and stand with those giant heels on. So that's really cool. For accessories, first of all, we get a bunch of hands, not a bunch, but we get two open hands, and then we get two weapon holding hands, and then we get two fists, one of which is already on here, same with the weapon holding hand. And those are painted nicely. They all have a wash on them, but they're brown leather. And uh, then she comes with two daggers, which are very nice, 
nicely painted as well and uh, they fit in that weapon holding hand she comes with a giant war axe which is also pretty cool painted nicely it's got silver and a wash on it and brown and black on the handle makes it look really nice and then she comes with her signature giant sword which is also painted really well it's got some gold it's got some black there on the hilts and then it's got a silver blade um, it is like very brittle plastic so be careful with all the weapons and stuff and that being said one of the pegs on her wrist did come loose so be careful with the wrist joints as well first up for scale and comparison here is our loose collector red sonia with vampirella also by loose collector on the right and our epic hack skeleton on the left you can see vampirella is the tallest but she's also kind of hunched over um they're about the same height so next up here is red sonia with some marvel legends we have our uh 20th anniversary cap and red skull here she is with cosmic legions and premium dna earthworm jim here we have her with some jaded toys we've got chun li and mega man just so you can really see how she scales with all the six inch stuff and lastly here she is with some biker mice and ninja turtles here she is with some dungeons and dragons stuff um i got the owlbear from ollie's and i got the uh tiefling i forget her name doric from which is also the owlbear from amazon uh, but yeah, check Ollie's if you want to get a bunch of the uh, Dungeons & Dragons stuff for really cheap because it's like 10 bucks a pop there. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that the Loose Collector Red Sonia is totally worth it because she's totally worth it to me. I mean, look, she's super cool. She can pose up. She's got big big weapons, like a big sword, a big axe. She's really cool. And if you think this video is really cool, hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of course, comment. Let me know if you're picking up this figure, if you're waiting for that Epic one, which I'm going to probably get that one as well because Red Sonia is really cool. Um, I know a little bit about the character, not a whole lot, but I knew it, not a whole lot, but I knew enough to be like, I want her. She's cool. But I knew enough to be like, I want her. She's really cool. So yeah, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to pick her up, how your day is going, all that stuff. Check out the Patreon, a dollar a month to see videos early like this one. All that stuff. As always, I love you. I will see you next time and bye-bye.